So there was a knock on the glass door, and uh, I was reading a paper, and I looked up, and it was Ice Cube, and he had three of his homeboys with him, and they were, uh, you know, they had their trench coats on and weren't looking too happy, and I said, what's up, Cube? And I opened the door for him. There were no security uh, procedures at the time. You know, he just stared me down, walked past me, and his uh, crew walked past and went then into the president's office. Brian Turner and Mark Ceremi were co-presidents of Priority Records. At that time, one of the biggest record companies and distributors in the business. About five minutes later, I heard screaming and glass breaking. There was something going on. So I jumped out of my desk, I got up, I ran out, and I get to my partner's door, it's closed, and I hear all the screaming going on. He was standing over Brian with a baseball bat, and he had his three guys standing behind him, and uh, Cube turned around and screamed at Mark and I to, to get the hell out of the office. Said, Mark, uh, get out of here, man. I'm, I'm cool with you. Just just, just, just please, just, just leave. And this has nothing to do with... Uh, with us, and uh, I was glad to hear that, and I took a step back. And I said, Cube, I, I can't do that, man. I, I, this is my partner. I have to I have to stand here, and I have to, to make sure nothing happens here. If you're going to fight, we're going to fight. If you're not going to fight, let's talk about this. Cube smashed the TV and hit Brian's glass desk and screaming about he didn't have the money that Easy e had and why is Easy paid, and I'm not. He stormed out of the office and smashed his golden platinum plaques on the wall in the lobby. Squad cars all over the place, and they're all ready to bust everybody and everything. And Cube's a good guy. You know, he's a damn good guy, and he's always been very, very good to priority and, and very good to me. And people coming after us like crazy, and just said, hey, 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 hang on. What are you people doing? Oh, here is a problem with Cube, and we're going to take him a chance. I said, no, you're not. I said, there's nothing going on. And they finally got it in their mind, and they left. They didn't like it. They wanted to bust somebody. So I said to Cube, I said, Cube, I said, meet me in Marina Del Rey tomorrow. And I rented a 50-foot uh, power boat, fishing boat. So we went out, and we went fishing for about four hours. They made us lunch, and, and then we listened to a bunch of Cube's new album. And, and uh, he said that uh, there was a problem. He said he was owed money, this and that. And I said, then there is no problem. I said, it's taken care of. You'll, you'll get the money. And I got back to the office, and I straightened it out immediately. That was my uh, introduction to the rap game, because I, uh, at the time, I guess I was 19 or 20. It was my first, uh, you know, six months or year at the company. So from there, uh, you know, it, it all made sense after that.